Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, uh, I just wanted to show you a very important, uh, I'll call it discovery, but this is going to help out a lot. If you follow MATLAB and C++, which are pretty well the top two standard languages for doing anything quant or uh, high frequency trading related, uh, those are probably the two most uh, requested languages out there for getting jobs. So uh, outside of my successful test with Java deploying it on a, in a Linux environment, I'm also now focusing C++. Here's the thing. When you look at languages like R and Python, all roads lead to C or C++. Okay, Because both those languages, you can actually download the source code for at least R, and I don't pretty sure you should be able to download the source for Python itself. They're all done in C. All the experienced traders I talk to that are using Python um, have uh, issues on speed, so they try to use Cython to speed it up. Oh, might as well just use C++ if you ask me. Also, same with R. Uh, a lot of people seem to be abandoning ship when they try to get into more advanced stuff with C++ or C. But this language, uh, MATLAB, doesn't seem to disappoint. Um, and plus with the documentation uh, we have here where you can create C++ libraries and DLLs and call them from within C++. So this uh, person here um, has described how to do it. I verify that it works. Uh, there's also mention here that it will work on um, Linux as well, or their Unix version, which is essentially their Mac, Linux, or even, as I said, Unix version. So that should be supported. Now, it's nowhere as hard as I thought. Um, basically, what you're doing is you're just um, running basically three commands. Uh, first, you got to build out the function. You can download the source code, uh, which is free uh, from the MATLAB uh, central. You can find it somewhere embedded in here um, but it's it's to do with this um, uh, algorithm called a, a veneer cipher don't ask um, all I care about is just the workflow of getting it to see and MATLAB working together which works so you can download the source code from somewhere in here uh, and uh, basically what you're gonna do is you need to convert let me just pull up the uh, folder Okay, so here's the folder, um, and in here you'll get the description of the, of the, of the algorithm. Here's the function itself. Um, let me just uh, pull it up here. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's a recursive uh, function, it looks like. Uh, it does a circ shift uh, using a 27 by 27 matrix, so it takes a bit of time to run. Um, so like I said, what you need to do is you need to do this MCC command, which will build out and deploy um, the MATLAB function. Actually, there's two functions here, uh, encrypt and decrypt. Uh, I'm not going to get into them because you just read the blog, right? Um, and then that will prepare the environment. Uh, so it'll create some necessary files for you uh, when you build out your actual project. Um, there is a description of, of a walkthrough of the actual um, functions themselves in C. And, and it says that it's using a, a MEX file. Uh, I tried to look for one. I couldn't find one. Let me just double make sure, double check this. No, there's no a MEX file. So that's good. Um, so it's using pure C. You start with, as I said, this function. Uh, and you also can get included a header file. Uh, on top of that, there is uh, the actual um, file itself. So let me just pull that up. Um, you know, basic C has all this. This is a library you'll call that's from within your MATLAB. It's generated by MATLAB, which is uh, the MATLAB um, M scripts. So you got to do some MATLAB necessary uh, calls specifically this MW array again it's explained in that blog post from MathWorks 
Um, and then what you do is once you go through all that, here's all the code and C++, then you got to do this MATLAB build, which will build the entire project using this um, veneer, vegineer, <laughs> no expert that. Uh, it'll create the library for you. And again, you can do the same thing in Linux. Uh, instead of lib, it's going to be an SO file. And then from there, you can actually run it. So let me just show you what it looks like in the source or in the console of MATLAB. So here's the output uh, when you run the uh, MCC right here. You've got to make sure you got your compiler set up. Uh, that's pretty simple. I'm using the, the standard uh, Visual C um, compiler. Works fine, as you can see. Um, and it does compile everything that's needed. Um, and then what will happen is uh, it will, you need to run that mbuild command or a set of, yeah, command I, I, I told you about. It's going to build it, use a linker, and then you can run it here uh, with the parameters that are set. But you, I've also confirmed you can run it here as well. Um, and it runs great. It's a little complicated, but I'll tell you this when you run it within Mat, MATLAB uh, using this exclamation, uh, Mark versus right knee, uh, I call it a DOS command prompt just because that's how far back I go. But in the command prompt, you will notice a difference in speed. Um, I don't think this methodology is going to make you, your, 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 your program, because it's in C or C++, instantly faster. But um, if you're just building out simple algorithms um, and using MATLAB and then deploying into C++, or C, I think it's a pretty decent way to go. I've shown you how to do this before in Linux. I've also not only that, but I've also co-generated into a C uh, or C++ file. Works fine in Linux. We're talking, uh, and I've also shown again in one of my recent videos, I was able to deploy um, front ends using the MATLAB guide for building out GUI front ends and deploying those and creating uh, actual uh, self stand uh, self uh, containing. Uh, executables in Linux as well as jar files. So we got everything running, looks good. Um, and as I keep saying, all roads lead to C. So if you're using R or Python, you're still going to be trying to outperform C. But with MATLAB, you can get it to C fast by using this uh, um, blog post I just showed you. Uh, and uh, it's pretty powerful stuff, this one right here. So I'll put up everything and uh, you just play around but I can't confirm it does work which is awesome and I'm going to take a large assumption that it will also work in Linux as uh, directed in these set of instructions and I gotta say good job on MathWorks for providing this I'm not even sure how far back so here you go so this can work on any version as far back as probably 2011 as long as you have the right toolboxes to make this happen over and out there